Remember back at the very beginning of this series when I said that a case is a way to use a noun in a sentence? We've found that there are four ways to use a noun in German. Nominativ, the subject. Akkusativ, direct object. Dativ, the indirect object. And genitiv, possessive. But there's one more way that we can use nouns in an English sentence, and that's as the object of a preposition. In these three sentences, the prepositions are with, before, and for. Where does this fit into German? Does German have a special case for objects of a preposition? No, it doesn't. There are some languages that do, but German is not one of them. So how do we handle the object of a preposition in German? Some prepositions take dativ. For example, der Hund spielt mit der Katze, the dog plays with the cat, and der Hund ist vor der Katze, the dog eats before the cat. Both of those take dativ. Other prepositions take akkusativ. For example, das Spielzeug ist für die Katze. In this sentence, für takes the akkusativ case for its noun. And there are some prepositions that can take either accusative or dative depending on how they're used. But that is a whole different topic for a whole different time. In our next video, we're going to wrap up our discussion of cases.